so we are at the fifth part of our first topic which was autism core knowledge and today we will be covering the terminology associated with diagnosis so basically we use certain terms for the diagnosis of autism and we will be covering what does it mean by those terms let's remember the terms first pragmatic language receptive language expressive language sensory motor social skills joint attention stereotypy so basically uh, the name itself uh, reveals what it means so the use of language in social context including the ability to understand and use appropriate language for different social situations so for example if we are like uh, sitting in a friend circle uh, we can use different jokes uh, sarcasm uh, that would be like our social awareness but if we are sitting in a very professional setting if we are sitting with a boss we can't literally just joke about anything so that would be our awareness of what language to use and the use of language in social context would be pragmatic language and also the example of this deficit which means the example of uh, having this deficit of pragmatic language would be difficulty in understanding sarcasm jokes or engaging in conversations that require social awareness receptive now by the term you can understand receptive which means receiving it is basically the ability to understand and process spoken language so someone is speaking and your ability to understand and process that language would be your receptive language ability and if uh, a person has deficit of receptive language it would mean that they have difficulty following verbal instructions okay so someone is giving me instruction but i am bad at receptive language i can't understand uh, i can't understand what the other person is speaking so i would be having difficulty in understanding the instructions given to me so i am thinking of something i want to ask for something so the words and sentences that i will use would be my expressive language and if i if i have deficit and if i have deficit in expressive language it would mean limited vocabulary or difficulty forming coherent sentences like me uh, like telling a whole story uh, or or making link between paragraphs and all so uh, expressive language would be linked to that expressing receptive receiving expressive expressing pragmatic social coming towards the next sensory motor so by the name it uh, so by the name it is clear that the interaction the link between sensory inputs and motor responses if i hear a loud noise i would put my hand on my ears that would be my motor response after uh, having a sensory input of sound so the interaction between these two would be sensory motor uh, i would be using that term to describe this interaction as sensory motor interaction or sensory motor link and if there is any deficit in that then the uh, then there would be difficulty in coordinating movements or having atypical reactions to sensory inputs for example aversion to loud sounds so it is the ability to interact appropriately with others in social situations uh, knowing when and how to react within certain people uh, within within a cer- with a certain circle with a particular circle with particular people uh, knowing how to uh, communicate how to understand how to receive how to express and all that it would be the ability uh, or it would be the skill uh, related to social related to social context and uh, and we will call it social skills and if there is any deficit in that uh, the example could be difficulty of forming friendships initiating or maintaining conversations joint attention uh, for example if someone uh, if i point toward a pen you will also look at it it would be our joint attention joint attention is the ability to focus on an object or event along with another person 
a critical skill for social development so joint attention would be giving attention together to a certain object or event like look at that or looking at something or focusing on a, a specific thing together so it would be the joint attention and its deficit example would be a child not pointing to object or following another's gaze last stereotypy stereotypy uh, so the by the word stereotype you can understand it's like the something that is happening continuously so stereotypy refers to repetitive non functional behaviors or movements for example uh, hand flapping continuously rocking spinning uh, objects or repeating phrases uh, if you are doing it repetitively if it's happening continuously it would be the stereotypy movement or stereotypy behavior okay so we covered seven terms pragmatic means social receptive receiving expressing expressive use words or sentence, sentences to express sensory motor sensory inputs and motor responses social skills uh, social skills related to social situations joint attention giving attention together stereotypy repetitive continuous movements coming towards the mcq what does pragmatic language refer to the answer is using language in social context what is an example of a deficit in receptive language the answer is difficulty following verbal instructions which of the following best describes expressive language the answer is using words and sentences to communicate what does joint attention involve the answer is focusing on an object or event with another person which behavior is an example of stereotypy the answer is hand flapping or rocking this was all about today how much did you score don't forget to comment and thank you for watching